Hello everyone, welcome to Bio125, this is Nutrition. I'm Professor Jenkins and I'll be with you for this online course. Uh, I figure that because I don't get to see you that often uh, on campus, I make a little hello video. So hello and welcome. I have some notes here so if I look down, um, that's what I'm doing. But quick hello and introduction. So, um, a quick intro to the course. Now, I'm not going to read the syllabus word for word, that would be really boring but you definitely should. So make sure that you read all the information on Blackboard under About the Course. There is the semester schedule, grading, all you need to know. Pay special attention to the semester schedule. Looks like this. Has all the due dates, all you need to know. So look at that. Um, make sure you read through for this course. It's an online course, but there's going to be an on-campus uh, midterm exam and final exam. So those are required. If you live outside of the capital region, I've had students take this course from Hawaii, uh, lucky them. Uh, if you live outside the capital region, that's fine. It's going to be your responsibility to set up a testing arrangement at a testing center or a college or university near you. So if that falls into your category, make sure you contact me ASAP and we can talk about that. Um, also the textbook, all this is online, we're using Blake, Nutrition and You, any addition is fine. More importantly, on the inside of this there's an access code to some online resources. If you've got a new textbook, you type the code in, you're, you're good to go. If you buy a used textbook, someone else already used the access code, so you will need to purchase a separate access code. You can find them on Amazon pretty cheaply. It's going to look something like this, a little bigger, um, but you'll need that for sure. So a brief thing about what this course is. This is an introduction to nutrition. All right. Um, there's more science than you probably think. So this is a biology course in the biology department. There's going to be some science, so make sure you expect that going in. This is a course that's going to require some time. Uh, people might think, oh, it's an introduction course. Oh, it's online. Uh, not much time. That's not true. So this does require time. An online course also requires self-discipline. So students that do well in this class uh, are self-disciplined, they set up a schedule, and they stick to it. So, what this course is not. Well, first of all, this course is not boring because you have me, so that's number one. Um, this course is not going to be easy. Again, there's more science than people think. So, it is manageable, and I want you to stick around, but just make sure you know that it's not going to be easy. What this course is also not, uh, this is not a course where the instructor accepts late work. So I do not accept late work. Make sure you're handing, in, handing things in on time. Okay, great. This course is not a course where I'm going to tell you specifically how to eat. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you must eat this way, blah, blah, blah. Um, nobody's perfect when it comes to food. And, you know, why should we be? That takes all the fun out of it. I certainly enjoy a uh, sugary beverage or some ice cream, and that's fine, okay? So, this class is going to give you the tools for kind of understanding what you're eating and what you should be eating. You're not perfect, but we're going to give you the tools that you can navigate it best yourself, right? I want to inspire each and every one of you to just improve your health, right? So, you know, you aren't going to come out of this class with a perfect diet, and that's not the goal. But I want to inspire you to just improve your health, your lifestyle, and walk out of this course with more information and a healthier life. Um, the beauty of this class is that no matter who you are, right, this is a class that a lot of people in other majors take, so no matter who you are, this class is going to relate to you. We all, we all have to eat, right? So I think this is a great science gen ed to take because unlike other classes, maybe environmental, biology, or I don't know what, um, they may not apply to you as much, but nutrition absolutely does. Now, to help with that goal, uh, I've worked really hard to make a course that's going to be great for you. And one thing I've done is you're going to see on Blackboard a recipe of the week. So I figured instead of me preaching about, well, here's some good ideas, why not just give you some actual things um, to use? So, on Blackboard are some, uh, some recipes for you. 
And as it turns out, they're mostly vegetarian. <gasps> I know, I hear a gasp out there. That's what I eat most of the time, vegetarian. But I don't expect everyone else to eat vegetarian. That's fine. I don't wear sandals. I took a shower this morning. So I'm not like most people, perhaps. But I think what we can agree on is that most people can stand to eat more fruits and vegetables. And that's my goal. So have a look at that. All right, look at my notes here. OK. How to succeed in this course. If you've been kind of not paying attention, please pay attention now. How to succeed in this course. Make sure you read over all the information on Blackboard so you know when things are due and what the structure of the course is. How to be successful. Make a schedule for yourself, right? You may want to treat this class like an on-campus class. Even though we're not going to be meeting on campus, set up times in your schedule, right? If you had a class on campus, you would meet, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for 50 minutes. Okay, well set up a schedule with yourself, okay? It's hard to be disciplined, so do things to make yourself more disciplined. Set up times a week that you will work on this material, all right? Um, other things to be successful, hand in your work, okay? Don't miss any easy points for not handing in the discussion board, the critical thinking, or the quiz on time, all right? As I said before, I do not accept late work, not even a minute late. So um, let's just get that out of the way right now. Why? Well, there's a reason why, right? I set up the course and the deadlines. Um, they're, spread out f they're spread out throughout the semester for a reason. So we're going through material at a consistent pace. So that way you're being tested consistently. And also, I can consistently get the material, grade it, and get it back to you quickly. So no late work. I don't want to hear it. Nothing. Make sure it's on time, all right? So to make sure of that, finish your work early. This is an online class with an online quiz. Sometimes things happen, okay? So don't wait until Sunday at 11 p.m. to take your quiz because if there's a technical problem and you email me, it's likely I'm not checking my email at 11, okay? So do your work early. Take your quiz on Friday. If something happens, email me. I can reset the quiz for you. There's no problems, all right? Last key for how to be successful, that would be focus on the material that's important. There's a lot of PowerPoint slides that I've included for you on Blackboard, a lot of them. But I've really taken some time to try and point out what's most important. So you'll see things in red, things highlighted, underlined, there's an asterisk or it's in bold. So spend more time on what's more important. Right? We don't have time to cover every single thing in the textbook and that's fine but focus on what's important so you're not wasting valuable study time. All right, um, the last thing I want to say with this little video introduction is um, I really want all of the students, all of you, to be successful in this class but also uh, in life, all right? Even if you don't know exactly what you're doing, what your career path is, that's fine, still kick butt at whatever you're doing, all right? That's that's how you're going to be successful. Um, I have some, if you're in my office, I have some things that are aligned on the side of the wall here. I'm going to pick one off for you. This one says, begin anywhere. Okay, so you may not know where you're going. That's okay. You got to begin somewhere. Because you're taking this class, I see that you're already motivated to start, and you've taken the first step. All right? So I really want you to be successful. This can be a great first step or fifth step. All right. One more thing here. Also in my office, you'll also see some references to this on the PowerPoints. A couple years ago, I did the Ironman triathlon. Um, if you don't know what that is, an Ironman triathlon is a really long triathlon. 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, followed by a full marathon. Uh, so I finished it. I bring this up not because I wanted you to know about it necessarily, but because we're capable of so much more than we think. I can't tell you how many grandmothers passed me on the course. How many people that didn't look like they were in shape would probably finish three hours before me. So we're capable of so much more than we think, all right? So I just want to give you that motivation here for this course. Now, not everyone has to do an Ironman. Not everyone has to be a vegetarian, okay? But, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, just go after it. Why not, right? So, to you I say, good luck in this course. Welcome. I look forward to working with you throughout this semester. 
all right? And if you do want to join me for the 6 a.m. workouts, uh, you're welcome to do so. So welcome and good luck.